Hey everyone, how's it going? Hope everyone's good. Now, uh, I've got here quite a lot of Digimons that, that I haven't really uh, synthesized because this is my other account that I hardly use anymore. I started using this at first, then I stopped using it. So everything started piling up on top of each other. He's noticed how much gold I have on here. But on my, on my main account, I'm actually struggling to get gold, you know. Uh, so first of all, I'm going to go over these uh, six, seven Digimons. Uh, talk over about them, uh, what their their good like uh, capabilities, what they can do, and how you can get them like that as well. All right. So first of all, guys, I'm gonna go through them one by one. All right. Now, if you notice, here I have uh, black pawn chessmon and white pawn chessmon. Now, white pawn chessmon is a defense type Digimon, and black pawn chessmon is a skill type Digimon, which is the mega form of a Queen Chessmon and then defense is uh, King Chessmon. All right, now for the fates of these Digimon, you do need, I mean, for uh, White Pawn Chessmon, you need uh, Peckmon as well. It, which you can't really get him very easily because you, know, you can get only get him through events or the Guild Battle, which I hide, highly recommend you guys do not do this. Like really, do the only thing you want to spend your um, guild battle badges on uh, over here, right? Is you want to spend them on XV Mon. This is the only Digimon you want to get from here, nothing else. If you guys are watching the video, maybe if you're new to the game, then this would help you a lot because in my case, what I did was um, <laughs> uh, I'm laughing because it's kind of stupid. In my case, what I did, like literally, if I go on exchange, you know what I exchange them for, guys. I was like spending my time with Reapermon shards, right? And right now I have 180 Reapermon shards, and I have enough shards for Reapermon to get to six star, I think. And yeah, you see, I have 100 and almost six stars, right? I can get it to five star, but with XV Mon, it's hard to get his shards. So you want to try and get uh, always go for XV Mon shards on the uh, exchange, guild battle exchange. Now. Back to Chessmon here. So owned White Pawn Chessmon, Gaugamon. Uh, Gaugamon you can get through a Challenger tournament. It skills, you know, White Knight Chessmon. Now the good thing about the White Knight Chessmon and the Black Pawn Chessmon is, is because you can, if you have them in team together, they can like buff each other up. Uh, well, the what's his name? The uh, Queen Chessmon can buff. Um, King Chessmon. Holy shield and deal damage to single target recover. 10% HP based on the lost HP. When the HP is lower than 50%, increase self extra 40% defense for two rounds. So 50 50 chance. Well, well let's say half and 50 HP, then that becomes active. So why not Chessmon hope holds upholds huge spear to attack enemy dealing damage? The vertical roll by sacrificing 6% of current HP. One can deal damage, which is equal to 6% of target's max HP. Uh, limited to non-player buffs. <laughs> to be honest, I don't really like this skill. Equal to It's because you're only equal to 6% of target's max HP. When self HP is lower than 50, one can increase life steal rate by 15% two rounds and block rate by 15% two rounds. One, once a series weapon is away, can damage and buff can be increased. He's got mega HP up. Uh, in battle, one can increase defense for self with lower HP. One can increase the trigger rate for self attack and skills 30% max. Each round before attacking on self Chance to trigger invisible, invisible state. Each battle can only trigger once. Lower HP with higher trigger rate. In such state, one can immune to all sorts of damage and debuff. With uh, Pawn Chess 1 type, it has certain chances to enhance ultimate skill effect. You notice this, as I said earlier, if you have um, another Chessman, like a uh, Black Pawn Chessman in your team, you can enha enhance ultimate skill effect. But still, personally, I don't really like this. Uh, on the other hand, Black uh, Pawn Chessman is a really good Digimon, for, uh, especially for support. Nice full skill when in battle and decrease 2% damage immune rate for all enemies. What? Enemies, okay. That's spelled wrong. If play, in play. 
so no adjustment block can revive with 15% HP and 80% fury. So if um, uh, what's the name? It's white point chessman dies in the battle, for example. Uh, if we have black point chessman in battle, um, it can have chances to revive white point chessman, but he has 15% chance to revive him, so it's not really a big chance. It's similar to Shakuman's skill. Now, hmm, what is this? So three javelin damage. Increase attack by 5% for allies for two rounds. So now this is pretty cool because that's 5% and if you level this up, it can go up to 15%, I think. So it's similar to having another fate active, which is really good. And this one is pretty good because it's um, increased damage rate by 5% for the back row allies. Also increase 5% allies whose HP less than 30%. Decrease damage immune rate by 35% of front row defense enemy. Uh, I'm not going to go much into this because it's going to take a bit too long. Now, I made a separate video about Seedramon, so there's not much to go into this as well. Uh, let me s synthesize this. So there we go. This one done. And another one here. So I'm just going to show you guys how to get the shards of those two Digimons, right? Now, if you go back here and find them star and we're gonna go here so you can get the shards up in the explorer shop here from uh, the night chess one we go back and and again so you're gonna go into sky exploration and store and there you go night chess one for the white chess one you want to go into arena go into cross server mine war and click on store and you have here Night Chessman, you can get three of these Night Chessman shards for 12,000 ores. Oh, sorry, 120,000 ores. And go back, and we're gonna go through Seedramon now. Seedramon, you can get in the shop, of course. Everyone knows this, or through a special event. Seedramon shards here, which I don't have enough uh, guild coins. To get more guild coins, you know how you guys get them right. Donate. Or if you donate with diamonds, you get more guild coins, and so on. All right, so see drum on. <laughs> Funny out there. So as I mentioned earlier, guys, uh, Gaogamon, Gaogamon. Now Gaogamon is a really good tank. I really, really good tank. So let's check it out now. Let's check it out. Where is okay? So Gaogamon. Now, if you notice, I just synthesize them both together right so Galgamani has only one fate active white pawn chess money has two fates active right and they're both defense type digimons and if you notice that Galgamon has already higher battle power even though he has only one fate so in overall Galgamon is a lot Tougher and uh, stronger as a defense type Digimon than a uh, white point chessmon. Uh, it's evolution, Mirage Gaugamon, and we have here Gaugamon. Alright, so the skills now. The good thing about the Gaugamon is if you have a Gaugamon in tournament, one, it's very effective if it's uh, awake, uh, not awake, I'm sorry, if its ultimate skill is ready. Once you use the ultimate skill, Gaugamon can be almost, not immune, but can be very, very strong against most attacks. He can take up a lot of damage because his skill here, um, in he attacks in vertical row and decreases damage by damage rate by 40% for self. Also increased damage immune rate by 60% for self. So he has decreased damage rate and decreased damage immune rate. So it's 60% and then 40%. That's that's a lot of uh, that's a lot of dam decreased damage rate. And once you have his exclusive weapon, he has 35% uh, chance to stun. Now that's a lot better than having 15% chance to get revived by a white point chessman. So it's a lot better you get this um, stun than having chance to get revived. And he has a super HP enhance because he, white point chessman is a mega and this one has a super. The only thing is uh, receive increase uh, 50 fewer every time you receive damage. All right, now the next Digimon. Oh yeah, Gaugamon you can get through, where am I going, challenge a tournament over here, click on exchange, and you have Gaugamon, 
And again, guys, don't do like, like I did in my mistakes before when I first started playing. You want to get Gogamon first thing. Always use these to get this Digimon. Do not get this. Do not go for Silphimon, only for Gogamon. Because at the end of the day, Gogamon is a pot 15.5 Digimon. Now, Geogramon. Alright, so. Geogramon, a subspecies of Greymon. So let's have a look at Geogramon. Now, hope his battle power is overall a lot higher than the. <laughs> then again, most attack Digimons have higher battle power though. So I just want to boost, and we're going to go into skill over here. So main halo. Now this in particular I like with the uh, Geogramon. Because if you have Geogramon in battle and you also have in your team, um, you have Agumon type, or Vimon, or Grolmon, Agnimon, Geogramon, and even Bergamon in your um, team. This skill, it can increase 20% of all of their ultimate skills damage. So that's like... Let's say, for example, uh, where Grolmon does damage of 100,000, right? And if he has 20% with his skill, that's going to be over, what is it, 100,000, 120,000 or more? Depending on how much damage it does. That's just an example. And plus, if you add all of them together, that's even more damage. It's similar to having its, uh, its fate activated, right? Like, similar to having this... Like for example, subspe uh, subspecies counter. <laughs> Couldn't say the word. <laughs> if you have this activated, it'll give you 20% attack. But Geogramon skill, it already gives you 20% attack. Plus, once you get all of these unlocked, then it's even more attack. You know, it's really good. And its ultimate skill it attacks in a vertical row. Uh, it's and it gives a burn as well. Its normal skill, it does damage and gives burn for two rounds. Mega attack of and the best thing is soul is increase 115 fury at the start of the fight. So if you level this up to level 16, you can get the full fury on arena. Oh yeah, it's evolution line. Shine Greymon is in mega form. All right, guys, next, 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 Duskmon, Duskmon, Duskmon. Oh, wow, look at that! Look at that! Ghost Eden. So now nah, you guys notice the difference here. Yeah? Dusmon, Geogramon, Blackmon, Chessmon, and the battle power just keeps increasing, yeah. So if you compare Dusmon and Blackmon Chessmon, they're both skill type Digimons. Dusmon, I don't think I have any okay I have oh I have two uh fates unlocked, okay. Blackmon Chessmon I have two as well. So you can see the difference in battle power. Now let's go through the skills because this guy is a his description is a tank killer, so it says here tank killer, but uh, it's kind of weird because when you do use him in team, some <laughs> I'm laughing because I tried him out before and on my main account and most times it doesn't even though there's a tank in the team this guy just doesn't even attack the tank for some reason, he attacks on any Digimon that has a lowest HP or. It doesn't even attack tanks. It doesn't make sense. He says it's tank killer, but it doesn't attack tanks. So I, it's kind of I was a bit frustrated at first, but at the same time, it does do a lot of damage for um, defensive Digimon to a defensive Digimon. So use weapon in hand, assault enemies in vertical row, deal da deal double damage against defensive enemy Digimon. Now this skill as well. This is even though it's a normal skill, it does <clears throat> it does attack in a vertical row. Keep that in mind, guys. Now it's ultimate skill, on the other hand, he only attacks one enemy. And which the best thing about this as well is also recovers HP. And if you have this awakened weapon, you can recover HP for the whole team. So that depends on how much hate the amount of HP you can recover is depending on how much attack it has. So if you keep increasing its attack, you can get more HP in it HP to itself or to once awakened to the whole team. And ultimate skill will deal extra damage with defense to the enemy Digimon and heal all allies. Alright, let's go back and uh, ghost move. Increase HP recovery for self, also for decrease enemy control rate in battle. Decrease control rate by 2% for all enemies in battle. 
Okay, good. Also increase HP reduction effect by 10% for cell. Uh, that's pretty nice. Oh yeah, let's check out its uh, Mega Form, its Bagramon and Taximon. Now guys, now, now, the one everyone likes. Alright, so let's see what this is going to do. Let's see his battle power now. Next Vmon, yeah. I use him on my main uh, main account and this guy's a beast. Oh my god, he's so helpful and everything you do is very helpful. And again guys, you notice the battle power overall in all of these Digimon that I just uh, synthesized. You can see the battle power in difference, right? Now, bear in mind that XVmon is a potential 15 Digimon, and he is a potential 15.5. That That's why he has higher stats than other Digimons, and battle power as well. I mean, the higher stats you have, the higher battle power it will give you, and my battery is low. Let's click on there. Okay, so XVmon, so I, oh, then again, I have all of these unlocked, right? All of these space unlocked. Uh, so his soul is increasing in fury at the start of the fight. Now it's pretty good because if, if you're in arena, you can have full fury. If you're in a tournament, he has full fury at the start of the fight. And he has a super attack enhanced. That's what I like about this. And the best thing is it's fourth skill. In battle, one can increase critical rate for all Digimon allies by 4%. Now I have XVMon level 83 on my other account, and its skill goes up to. 18% is gone up, okay? So that's 18% of critical rate for all Digimon allies in your team, that is. And now, the best thing about XVMon is it's a uh, Fury controller. Oh my god, if you guys use XVMon, uh, especially in team, and if it's Fury is active, it's amazing. So release the power of light into that enemy. 30% chance of burn target extra causing 12% uh, burning damage and decreasing 100 fury lasting for one round. Now the thing about x one is his fury decreaser does not work like uh, Leomon or Wargreymon Awakened Weapon or who else? Who else can I remind you? Or Chaosmon, okay, in this example. x one works like it, it takes away the fury at the start of the enemy's round, not at the end of uh, your round, for example. So that way the enemy can't use their ultimate skills even though they can get full fury you know do you understand what i'm trying to say it's very very helpful guys so already and this ultimate skill attacks in the enemies in vertical row um, and this can decrease 150 fury for both enemies if it's if it does um if it's if this effect is active for example if it's not then it doesn't work it doesn't decrease the fury but in most, ca most cases, it always um, decreases. And the best thing is, once you have Exclusive Weapon Awakened, it, you can attach 40% uh, chances to get silenced for this uh, Digimon, which is really nice. So, Volusia is Feral Dramon. Feral Dramon. Alright, alright, alright. Nice. So, guys, what do you guys think of all of these Digimon so far? And which one out of all of these six Digimon guys, seven, should I say, because I've got seven here, which one out of all these seven do you like the most, or do you use the most in your team? I mean, in my case, I know I use XVMon here. I mean, XVMon on my main team, XVMon is my main Digimon. Because if I say this, guys, like, all of these Digimons here are any any player free, free to play, you can get any of these Digimon. It just takes a little bit of time to get them. You don't have to pay any money or recharge or diamonds to get these Digimon. Because in my case, I just, it's, I've been playing this almost, this is my first account that I created, and I, this has been active for almost nine months, I would say maybe. And I could have got these Digimon like before if I were to play this non stop, but I stopped playing my this account like after uh, seven, eight months, I think, seven months maybe or less. So I stopped trying to get these daily things. Uh, that's why I want to make a video about this now. So yeah, don't spend your uh, stuff for um, Reapamon here. Go for Xvmon. Oh, let me just check this, guys. If you want to arena, you want to, you know, exchange. You always want to go for Gogamon here. 
and then after that go on to build battle and you want to go for XV1 don't go for this do not go for that do not go for this or this I know a lot of people will probably go for this because of the fusion but then again it is really not worth it because tank jump on shards you can get through the uh, main stage uh, elite stage sorry you can get two shards a day which is more than enough but this XV1 is very rare to get these so you should get these all the time whenever you have enough uh, kill battle badges and then cross server tournament for a war Grolmon here all right oh let's bet who, who shall we bet oh yeah all boys in a way probably and then cross server mine war for your white one shot night okay white one chest now. Anyway, I'll leave it at that, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. And leave any comments you have down below. Uh, if you're new to the, my channel, make sure to subscribe. I'll try to post as many videos as I can. Alright, so anyway, take care, everyone, and have a good day.